What it is today is the chefs and, and our salespeople try to bring the restaurant concept now to a catered event. It used to be what color linen do you want? Black or white? It's not like that anymore. Now it's, you could basically completely design a table as if you were designing a table for your own home. The largest wedding Melons has catered was a uh, sit down for 500 at the Cole Mansion out on the lawn under a tent. Some event sites have in-house catering and you have to use them. Most event sites that are off-premise have a preferred catering list, so you have to use one of the caterers off the list. If they can afford it, most couples would prefer to be off-premise. A hotel room is a hotel room. A really good wedding planner assists the bride and groom from beginning to end. They will introduce them to what they consider the best vendors for their client. They will help them select Sites, if the couple haven't already selected the site, they would get them to photographers, videographers, bands. They will help them with linen and china selections. They will help them with invitations, with makeup, with limousines, with whatever transportation they need. They will assist with hotels. They will work with them with the rehearsal dinner. They will help with the seating charts. They will help take care of favors and they, they basically are the glue that brings it all together. But when they try to dictate food or say it's totally okay to have a toast in, the, in between courses when it never is and you can't have six trucks arriving on one dock at the same time, it's much easier as the caterer for me to have a planner on site. Sometimes a lot of couples will hire what they call day on wedding planner but there's really no such thing. Some wedding planners work with a couple for a year and sometimes it's uh, a month. They think they can save money and by just having a day off, but for the planner, day off is non-existent because the brides start calling them as soon as they hire them. If they hire them three months ahead, it's a three-month day off. Weddings generally overall prefer a sit-down. Younger brides that are very non-traditional like stations, but stations are the most expensive of all. And you've always got 10% vegetarians, but when you have a buffet, you have to have 100% of vegetarians because everybody that goes through that line, except the vegetarians, will eat everything. The management of the rental equipment is huge. And we always end up having to go over the orders with them. And when you're not actually ordering it yourself, when you're not in control of it, then you know, you've got a problem on site. My advice for, especially for new wedding planners, is let the caterer do the ordering. If you've got a certain design in mind, fine. Work as a team with the caterer. The end result is the caterer isn't scrambling at the last minute to get those martini glasses that some special cocktails going in that you didn't think of because you're not a food and beverage person. I've done weddings where the most important thing was the china and the whole table setting and the food was secondary. Well, I work with a lot of planners from other states. I could be going to New York one day to do an event and they're gonna help me too. Caterers, generally speaking, can only take as many events as they've got people that can run them. We will only take three weddings in a weekend. It's nice to have them booked a year in advance, but I would say probably six months is the average. The day before, we want payment in full because by two weeks, we should know everything, but even a week ahead, it's gonna change. The basic goal of what we have to do is get inside the heads of the people we're serving. And you can't get in their heads via email, you've got to talk to them on the phone so you can pull out of them what their likes and dislikes are, what their vision is, their dream, what their taste in food is like. It's a lot more personal to talk on the phone and then you do the detailed stuff with email. Thanks to Martha Stewart, everybody wants, has, even if they're having hors d'oeuvres, they decide they want to taste them. <laughs> It's gotten a little out of control. But to taste 10 caterers, well, you're never gonna remember the first one when you've gotten to the last one. Here's the uh, boards, the production boards. So we have all the spices up here. There's a stock pot here that goes round the clock. All right, this side of the kitchen is the pastry side. This is where we make all of our own uh, cakes, wedding cakes. So which event is this? Uh, the one going to Alcatraz. A purple event here, orange event there. And the books get color coded so that when the chef comes in to take the party out, no, he's got a name, but he's also got a color because you don't want to take the wrong party. So then the site, site chef come, comes out this door from the, uh, from the kitchen, 
everything gets staged right here and it gets checked off to go but loaded onto a, a truck and go off to site so we've had to ma make mezzanines we've got a big space up there we have all the guys put, putting everything back from the weekend so now we come into the warehouse staging area the warehouse crew pull together the events here's part of the one that's going to Alcatraz everything is on wheels this is where everything goes from and comes back to right around the corner this is the aftermath of a big event you've got all your linen bags it's got its tag on it it's ready to go back catering requires a tremendous amount of equipment and basically you have to bring the shop with you every time you go and you have to have very detailed lists of what you need down to the last toothpick. Right, this is the warehouse manager's office. He's in charge of pulling all the equipment together and making sure the right equipment gets to the right truck to the right event. And then right next door, we have the um, sales and production office. This is the uh, brains of the operation where all the ordering of the linens that are required, the china, all the permitting gets done, floor plans, so on and so forth. It all comes out of this, uh, this space right here.